Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. Um, if you are new, my name is Melissa Morell and I'm a personal stylist, but I only style the real, average, normal woman. So no, no models, basically. I haven't styled models in um, 15 years. So I deal with lumps, bumps. I deal with real lifestyles. I deal with, you know, I can't just put everybody in um, high heels, um, even though everybody does look good in them. Most of my private clients are running around in trainers or, or, or flat boots all day so um, it's about practical styling for your lifestyle and particularly about building a capsule wardrobe and being really sustainable with your wardrobe um, to make sure that we make the most of it so if you do enjoy today's video and you could press that subscribe button or the thumbs up button I would be very grateful. It's just meaning the more subscribers I'm getting, the more videos I can bring you because I have to divide my time up between my actual personal styling. I also teach others how to become personal stylists and now doing these videos as well. So the more people that subscribe, the more I can change that balance for you. So today's video is the fifth one in the Body Shape Masterclass series. And today we have a nearly six foot lady called Leonie. I went to university with Leone and um, I, I can't guarantee what she's going to be like. She's a little bit of a wild one on camera, so it should be fun if nothing else. Um, and you will see the height difference between Leone and I. She, like I say, she's nearly six foot. I'm five foot three. Um, and I suppose she gave me a bit of a challenge because she always says that it's really difficult to dress for her height. And I always sort of poo-poo that and say, you know, I wish I had your legs. I'm like um, really stubby compared to her. Um, but I have to say, it has been really difficult. Now she specifically asked me to look for workwear for her because that's where she really struggles. So we're combining today's video with workwear suggestions as well as dressing a really tall person. She has a 36 inch inside leg. Um, and I'm not going to lie, it hasn't been easy. Um, so I think today's video, I obviously will be talking about what stores I shopped from um, and bought certain things from to get the length and the size for her. I think from my perspective, I've really had to try and look at things a little bit different. So if the trousers didn't come in the length that I needed them to come in, then um, I've looked at seeing how I can style it as a crop trouser and whether that would actually work and what do I need to pair it with on top to balance that crop out. And just before she gets here, just to answer some of your questions, um, yes, I am planning to do a live and yes, I do online styling as well for anybody who isn't in my area. So um, I hope it's going to work. I've never dressed Leone before, so um, let's get started. Um, Right, so everyone, this is Leone. Welcome, thank you. Leone and I went to university um, together, so we've always kind of looked like little and large on the height side of things. In fact, I, I'm meant to have some gorgeous cowboy boots, I'll show you them later, with this dress, but I look so short <laughs> compared to you that I've just had to go and put my heel boots on instead. So anyway, so this is Leone beautiful figure as you can see but incredibly tall you are five like, eleven and three quarters oh six five, foot six foot okay yeah. we'll round up to six foot but you have got a 36 inch in a seam haven't you yes in a leg yeah yeah which was really really difficult to buy for but what you can see here is that her shoulders and her hips are perfectly aligned i will measure it in a minute but i can visually see it and her waist I reckon it probably goes as close to 10 inches as possible, which actually makes you virtually a perfect hourglass. Oh, wow. And you've got a really lovely, decent sized bust as well. Okay, so given that she's a perfect hourglass, from a styling perspective, I've got to make sure that I don't disturb that balance. So if I broaden you on top, for example, maybe a, a, a blazer that's got perhaps some shoulder pads in, yeah. then I'm going to have to make sure that I broaden you slightly down here as well otherwise you'll end up looking like a strawberry or something right now that's quite extreme you know yes we could get away with a little shoulder pad but if it was a big flared a-line skirt yeah i'd have to nip you in at the waist here and build that out as well so 
Um, Hourglass, it, it is that perfect figure. You're very lucky. It is the figure that most of the high street clothes are designed around um, but I think the troubled area for you is your height yeah, isn't it definitely um, I've always been really envious of those legs <laughs> they, they, they do cause her a problem in terms of um, it's really limiting isn't it on yeah. the shops and my leg length of my arms as well oh okay yeah, all right I know I must admit I didn't even consider that oh okay so that will be interesting when we style yeah um, but I don't know if you've seen many of my videos but I always do try and show the wrists anyway because yeah. it's really really um, slender but we'll see how the jackets go on her because of that um, but there was no miracle shop out there to be honest to get this 36 inch leg um, I could quite easily get 33 and 34 inch yeah and I will be putting all the shops in the comment and the description boxes for you um, but I really wanted to play around with some full length trousers and seeing what they look like as a cropped um, but also I've bought I think necks for example do an extra 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 long and then I could wear a heel exactly because half, half the time you can't wear trousers yeah. with a heel because they're riding on your yes ankle. okay mm. all right and mm. sometimes you do want even though you're tall you're still happy to wear a bit of a heel aren't yes you? Yeah. yeah okay great so um let's okay so we're going to show you every step of the styling process we started by putting her in these trousers from jigsaw and the blouse is also from jigsaw obviously right now she is not looking that <laughs> hot i said i might just leave her in this and make this like the front photograph <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> so what do we do to make this work? So we'll start by tucking it in if you don't mind. Of course. <laughs> so the reason we're going to sh um, tuck in obviously is to show off this lovely waistband. In fact I'll just grab a belt. I'm thinking perhaps for the look I'm thinking, so I'm going to put you in a blazer and maybe a nice coat over. Okay. Um, I'm going to do those buttons up or if you don't if you want to do them yeah. up yourself. Yeah. Or office. She was just telling me that her office is really cold all the time um but i love it she's the owner of the company <laughs> and her office was it where, where do you work what do you it's call? harry charles estate agents in watford but we've got a great big glass fronted and it's so cold you just can't heat it up so i have to wear warm clothes to work so if anybody's looking for a nice house in the hertfordshire area then, then go to leone well um that looks lovely for a start okay i like how that is nipping you in definitely um we need to deal with the length so these trousers aren't extra long length or anything like that they're the standard i think it's 32 or 33 okay. inch but i was hoping to put maybe like a little boot or something in there so i'll just grab that it's a tight around the ankle so it looks like it's a really slender sort of sock boot which personally i think you could then get away with the length yes are you, are you comfortable like that even yeah if i didn't have the heel it might not look as good but well, we we'll try we'll try yeah, it with a okay. flat shoe in a minute and then I okay so all we've done is change this look up a little bit so we've kind of um it was quite elevated before we've brought it down a few pegs really yeah. haven't we so we've put the trainers on here they're actually a platform trainer but they could just be a normal flat coat which i just think is beautiful on her coloring as well but we have literally just put a plain white t-shirt on underneath it so i was thinking um, because it's a little bit cold in her office she could replace that really easily with a polo neck jumper like that but equally a t-shirt just looks really cool and relaxed yeah. really doesn't yeah. it um, and Leonie was just saying off camera that she's really surprised that everything's fitting her on the sleeves so this jacket is from River Island so maybe that's a good one for you tall people out there but yeah that's really nice I really like that fantastic Lovely. thank you okay okay so we've just changed this look up again just for, to show you how versatile things can be if you've got neutral tops to go with your main pieces we've picked up this jumper from um mint velvet again not looking great like that so let's start by doing something with it so first of all i want to show off this waist i always want to show the waist off especially if you've got a really beautiful waist. Do you mind just turning around a little bit? I think we'll just tuck it in the back here, just a little bit. There we go. And pull the sleeves up. See there, the sleeves aren't, they're not long enough. No but they're not short enough to look like they should be three quarters so we need to do something with them you don't want them too long and you don't want them too short so um just pop them up a little bit like that 
and that has transformed yeah. that straight away so easy that's so nice um, this is a very good jumper as well um, given all these sort of different lines going down different vertical and horizontal lines that can do a lot for sort of splitting one's top area up so with your jumpers don't go completely plain that will make you look broader but look for all of this stitching detail that adds some interest in the top Lovely. Right, please excuse the dog for a moment. Okay, so now Leone has got this figure hugging dress on um, in this lovely maroon, which is a colour I don't know if you can pick up here, but the colour against the hair is really, really lovely. But the point to make about this dress is it does further elongate her frame. So Leonie's very comfortable with her height, aren't you? Which is great. Yeah. Um, but if you're not so comfortable with your height, something like this is going to make you look taller. Um, so all we do is get something to break it up. So we've just got a blazer here. And straight away that just breaks that look up a little bit and just adds another layer of interest. Um, so the boots that she's got on here, they're actually, do you want to flash your thigh? Mm -hmm. They have to actually go all the way up, quite sexy boots. <laughs> um, but that actually looks really quite nice from the side with the split up there. Uh, but there's no reason why you can't just go to that level as well. But again, they're a, a tight sock boot, so it's very lovely. It shapes the legs really, really nicely. So. Um, yeah, we like that one. Yeah, I like we? it too. It's great. Yeah, so yeah, next up, we've got this beautiful suit from the lovely, lovely brand called Espiga. They are the um, sustainable fashion brand. We've just had one on yeah. our local high street in Marlborough, um, and it is gorgeous and they um they have actually so this isn't a paid partnership or anything but they have given me a discount code so i'll put that along the bottom for you um but their items are beautiful my dress that i'm wearing today is aspiga and i was going to wear these lovely lovely boots from aspiga <laughs> as well let me show you those they are gorgeous but this one here is so tall that I had to change them up for my higher heeled boots just so there's a little bit less of an obvious um, size, size difference. Um, but yeah, gorgeous. This colour is beautiful. It also comes in the black and okay. also comes in this teal green as well. Yeah. So Leonie's wearing a size medium in the trousers and in the... Um, in the jacket but I've actually got the suit myself and I've got it in a small so I thought if I put it on in a minute we'll do a little bit of a, a twinning thing and see what it looks like. I had them today with the trainer as you can see and then this beautiful, do you mind just taking the jacket mm. off a second actually, this beautiful blouse again from a speaker as well. I actually thought this blouse kind of looked you know okay-ish and then when we put it on the quality was just beautiful, yeah. wasn't it? I think the fact that um, how the shoulders are just sort of puckering there is really, really lovely and feminine. And um, um, the waistband's very flattering as well. Yes. Mm. Yeah, so we like this one. Yeah. So I think it looked nice with a stripy top or something on those lines. So let's do a little bit of twinning and see what we can make okay. out okay. of it. So we're twinning. This is what <laughs> little and large looks like in this really lovely suit. So I'm wearing the small, Leonie's wearing the medium. Um, as you can see, the leg length is a little bit longer, but I've just popped it on with a white boot. But um, I just put it on with a Converse platform. It looked great with that as well. I'm wearing it with this beautiful blouse from Espiga again. Let me just come up a little bit closer for you for that it is gorgeous um and we've just put on a little stripy top for leone just to show you um how versatile it is and we were just looking into the fabric so it feels like corduroy yeah. but velvety at the same mm, time doesn't mm. it it's really interesting but it's actually organic cotton um which as i'm sure you all know uses like 70 percent less water um than what's what's normal well, because organic cotton is so much better for the environment. Yeah. Normal cotton, say for example on a pair of jeans, we use 14 litres of water okay, just to make one yeah. pair of jeans. So yeah. throwaway fashion is terrible. Yeah. So using organic cotton is so much better. Okay. Um, yeah. That's what this I think brand they, this brand uh, have won awards for their sustainability. So mm. um, as we should all be more conscious in this area, but if 
you know if that is something that you're looking to do then I highly recommend so I'll put a link to their website and everything below and they'll also offer you a discount code as well but okay now her legs look even longer I am so jealous um gorgeous pair and <laughs> um, from from next again what size are these ones actually these are extra 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 long I think oh uh, so 12 tall in the extra 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 long so wow. that's three yeah. x's um but it means that she can wear them with a little bit of a heel like that um we've teamed it up with the espiga shirt that i was wearing a few moments ago which is just absolutely beautiful and i think the reason why all of this works well together is the shoulder detail here which obviously broadens her across the chest the the slick nature tight nature of the trousers around here is bringing in her in at the waist but then the important bit is the kick out flare down here at the bottom is balancing out those shoulders so we haven't just broadened her out on the top we've broadened her out on the top she's gone in and then out again and it just forms this absolutely beautiful effortless sort you're going to look lovely in the office and so would you go out and do your viewings in that yes yeah, yeah. I, mean, I would mm. okay yeah. okay and so just quickly we just popped a really practical long line cardigan over that as well again for, for when she's in the office if it's a bit cooler but also there's no reason why you wouldn't um put that on and then the coat over it that's as well. true yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. That cardigan there is from Mint Velvet and I think you're wearing a size small but I will put everything in the description box for you. So these are a very slight boot cut um, trouser from River Island again. You're wearing a size 12 I think. The blouse is also a River Island blouse but again the sleeves are really nice and long. And a detail to look out for here is um, when the cuffs are double cuff um, it's going to allow those who are shorter to upturn them, obviously like that, or those who with a longer arm just to leave them down. So it's little things like that that you can see that on the models if you're buying um, online, for example. I zoom in and have a look what the length is going to look like and whether I have the ability to do that. Um, so obviously an all black look at the moment, um, which isn't going to suit everybody. Uh, Leone's got such a striking look that she can carry it off. But let's try breaking that up a little bit. And I wanted to show you how just with one sort of hero piece, how that can really easily change an outfit. Again, this was from River Island. Um, we're not so keen on the buttons. We'll come close in a second and show you. But don't let the buttons um, don't let the button stop you from buying an item like that because that's the simplest thing to do is just to change them for some just plain buttons. Yes, um, or take them off even if you're not going to take them off. Up. Exactly, you don't even need them on, yeah. do you? But so just focusing on the shoes for a moment, um, I have picked a really nice slim leather boot from um, Jigsaw. Right. Yep, that was half price actually in the sale. They are square toed um, and they're quite a tight leather again up the ankle. And I think I've mentioned this already, but the tighter you can get up the ankle, the slimmer the ankle will look and the more polished the overall look would be. If those boots were quite chunky around the ankle, then that's going to add a chunk to your leg. Not that it would matter with yourself, but with uh, most other people, then it would. <laughs> I think that's really nice because they also just fill out that very short gap if yes. your trousers aren't quite long enough. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, so next we've found these trousers from Next. Okay, so they're, they're straight legged. They're in the 12, so, so UK size 12 in the tall range, but they are extra, extra long. Um, and they were £25 and we think, well I think these look great, yeah, don't they? no, they're, they're really really flattering, they're really flat across here and um, there is little pockets here, uh, are they zipped? I thought oh, they were sewn up. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure if you can actually get much in there, but um, so Leonie was saying that the waistband's actually quite tight, there's no zip at the side or anything, so to get them over the bottom was a little bit of a Over wiggle. my hips, they were quite hard. Quite, yeah. quite hard. Yeah. But we're really loving the shape that they're giving. Um, these shoes, they are, these are fantastic, but these are a little bit of an investment purchase. They're from... LK Bennett. LK Bennett, thank you. And the blouse is the exact same blouse that I showed before. Um, I showed it in black, but this time it's in the cream, as you can see. Okay, so that colouring works really well again. It's showing, actually, despite the colour, 
actually how versatile this jacket can it be is. and how mm. it can really lift the outfit. Um, I think this time we've left the blouse open and we've added just a little bit of jewellery just to soften the look but I think it would look equally lovely done up like that and that's really down to your individual style whether you prefer to show your neckline or not but yeah really lovely okay so same outfit we've just changed it around a little bit we've done the collar up we've pulled the necklace out um, and then we've added this really nice uh, jacket again from River Island. Uh, Leonie really likes this because it's got the natural ruching on the sleeves anyway, so they're already pulled up for you. And I just think the soft colouring looks really, really nice, but really classic, but still really modern at the yeah. same time. And I think the gold added in here with the gold tones in her hair are just lovely. So just another variation really, and just shows you how easy that variation can be. Okay, so I just wanted to show you how versatile an outfit like this is by adding some jeans. These are again from Next, they're 12 extra long. That's right. Yep, yeah, they're obviously a skinny. Um, I think the jacket is still balancing her out because it's coming in at the waist and it's kicking out around here. So that creation of the hourglass frame is still maintained. And then her beautiful slim legs are obviously coming out of the blazer, but they just look amazing. So a really nice way to to pair that down so yeah lovely okay so next up we've got this dress from Karen Millen we're both really surprised at how long it is yes we? brilliant so, lengthwise. Um, lengthwise if you're tall then go to Karen Millen how I assessed whether it was going to be long enough for Leone is I looked on the website and then you can see to see how tall the models are <laughs> Look at that. Let me all see the Let, Letting everybody see. She's styling that <laughs> modelling as I'm talking. <laughs> um, so you can usually see how tall the model is. And then if you look, physically just look to see how long the dress is on the model, then that gave me an indication. So if it was really long on them, I knew it was going to be long on Leone. So it sounds really basic, but actually buying online, you can actually, it's quite insightful if you really think about it. Um, so we like it, we love the neckline, we love how it's bringing her in at the waist here, um, we love the black and gold, I think it's really quite classic, um, but unfortunately we're not loving the fabric really, no. um, we've got a couple of issues with it, the buttons here are sort of hanging off a little bit, there's quite a few creases in it, but not creases like it needs ironing, um, more we think there's a bit of a mix match between the fabrics, um, sort of more of a seamstress yeah, issue, Definitely. with it mm. which is a real shame um, but I would encourage you probably to go along and have a look at Karen Millen because usually when I buy pieces from there they're gorgeous but unfortunately this one just um, isn't quite right quality wise. So. so thank you for watching today guys I hope you have found that useful um, hopefully some of you tall people out there have found it useful but also from a dressing for work perspective hopefully you've been able to get a few ideas. Before you go if you could press that subscribe or the thumb thumbs up button it does genuinely mean um, an awful lot and means that I can bring a lot more videos to you so thank you for watching today I hope you have learned something and I look forward to seeing you next week bye